Solo, Overkill, Loud, Golden Shark. This was by far the hardest map out of the Solo, Overkill, Louds that I did, having now completed all of them. I'm very happy to say that I will not be doing it again. Probably. The probably is because while I was playing around with this map and figuring out how I wanted to do it, and we'd already successfully had a run where we had about half the money away, about 30 minutes into the run, and I just died. My own mistakes, that kind of stuff happens. So I decided to come back the next day with a cooler head and give it another shot. Figured before recording for stream, I'd go run around the map a little bit, check out and see what I could find. And uh, Golden Shark uh, it's got some pretty bad bugs. Uh, one of them I will be showing off for this entire video. I still want to do this in a vanilla format where I'm not using what I consider to be a fairly large pathing glitch. But this was my test video where I was like, you know what, I'll just I'll throw a record file on whatever. We'll go play around. I'll see if it's even possible. I play horribly because of this. I'm not trying any strategies. I'm not trying to keep anything tight. I'm just going for it. So here at the very beginning of the map, if you don't know, when you go loud instead of drilling, you can send a bank assistant from one of the three offices around the building in order to open the door with the eye scanner there for you. For whatever reason, I watched him grab the scanner and then he knelt and didn't open the door. You should figure out where they are. You can see the first guy from the front of the building out there. He wasn't there. It's probably this guy in the back left corner. If the guy in the front right corner is not there, the guy in the back right corner where I'm facing right now down that hallway, I very rarely spawn. So we come in here, grab the oxygen. This can spawn here or in any of the locker rooms. He's already opened the door for me. I'm going to run in and activate the next hacking objective. Now, ideally, you'd take some sort of hostage perks for this map. Uh, and you would be able to keep the negotiation timer running for a little while longer. Again, I was just kind of playing around. Uh, I had a build on I don't even normally run. It's got some grenade perks that I very barely use throughout this run. Uh, here in the beginning, you're supposed to get into each of these circles and obviously push the next objective forward. But I'm setting up for the bug that I found. Um, not a huge one, not hard to do. These civilians are not required. I just grab them because I, you never know for gas grenades and stuff like that. And if you need them for extra resources later. So I thought to myself in the beginning, maybe I'll bait the guys a little bit further down the stairs. Oh, no, wait, maybe I'll put them in the office. You can tell I'm all over the place for this run because I was just kind of playing around and finding bugs. So here I decided to take three of them and build a triangle of safety in the manager's office. The hilarious part about the manager's office is if you don't open the doors and you just break the glass, cop pathing doesn't work so hot anymore at all. So in this case, I decided to grab a guard and two uh, employees of the building, whatever, civilians, to fill out the office. Uh, I had no plan, no idea what I was doing, and I just grabbed them. So I've got one in the back right, one in the back left, and then I was going to go for four and stick one in each corner, but I didn't get there before the bullets started flying, so I was like, whatever, you go in front of the couch. It's a triangle of safety. This I had only tested for about 10 minutes beforehand, just to note that it worked. I was just trying to see if the manager's office might somehow be a good place to hold. Had been using the bathrooms on the left and right there of the pre-vault room. There's one around either corner. They work fantastically. If you shut the door in the stalls, for instance, the cops can't figure out how to get in and they will leave you alone forever. You can stand on the toilet and shoot them. You can crouch, do whatever. That was my original plan. Maybe I'll do that because I'd already been holding in the bathroom in a normal format in my other attempts. But we found this. Works way better. I'm not using it right now. Again, this is mostly because I wasn't sure how effective it was yet, and I was just playing around. So we finished the first objective, which is just to get the hack a little bit along. Don't mind my terrible accuracy here. Remember that these doors can be shot open. And then we'll run over and start our first hack. I already know it's on this side because I've played a little bit of this before, like I said, those previous 10 minutes. So I reload up and bunker down and decide to hold back here for this objective. Not a hard one to do. You can hang out the doorway. Um, again, I haven't really even been playing today, so my aim is terrible. I'm not doing so hot. But that'll show you just how strong this is. In fact, I play so terribly in this corner right here and don't watch my resources that I kind of screw up all of the asset drops I can get out of my bots. Uh, for those of you that don't know, bots drop assets on very specific timers. Uh, they'll only drop like an armor bag or a health bag between waves when the assault is uh, ended. They will also only drop depending on what you need. So if you have less than two mags remaining in a gun, for instance, or like down to where I am, one loaded and two in the back for 18 in this revolver, they will drop ammo. 
I do not want ammo. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not paying any attention to that. There's plenty of ammo on my left. I could stock up here. I'm not. I could switch weapons. I'm not. I was just kind of playing around trying to warm up. Uh, this costs me. Also, Chains is down right now, and I'm not paying any attention to it. He goes to jail, and there he goes. I have pointlessly taken a lot of damage defending these bots already and trying to res them. I should just let them die. They're really, really not worth defending. They have no brains and will just get you beat up. So we're in a regroup now. I figure I'll get the bots up. I just need two of them alive so I can get resources out of them. Boom, I get an armor bag. That's nice. I'm less, half, less than half armor gives you an armor bag. Less than half health gives you a health bag, but I'm low on ammo. So unfortunately, I get an ammo bag here and an armor bag in a place that I really wouldn't have wanted it just because I wanted to push this objective a little earlier. Normally, if you're playing this well and you have a little bit of hostage trading, you can do pretty much this entire hack thing without losing any armor at all, even in solo, by just being quick. And you'll get all of it done up until having to touch the door before the cops really start rolling in. And if you're going to use the strategy I'm using right now, you can just fall back to the manager's office at that point in time. You have full health and no resources spent from you or your bots. And that would have been that would have been the play past me. But we were just kind of playing around uh, proof of concept. I could not believe that the manager's office is a giant anti pathing zone, at least as so long as the two doors aren't open. I have not unlocked either of them. I didn't even pick up the key card for that exact reason. So this gives me free reign, obviously, between assault waves to do whatever I want which makes it very, very easy if you're just willing to take your time. I was super impatient, and this run gets a little scary closer to the end. But for now, we're all right. I decide that I want to push this objective. It's very important to me for some reason. This was another mistake that I didn't need to make. This one, not the end of the world, but they all kind of compound. I'm taking chip damage. I'm losing plates. I have no reason to have lost an entire plate right here or another half of one right there. I should be going for cover, but I'm like, I'm going to finish the objective. Didn't make much sense. I wasn't sure how powerful this was going to be yet. And we're just playing around. So right now, I should take cover in the offense. I could push the button. I don't want to push the button. Now would be the time to take cover. I also should not save these bots. Right here from behind the chair, and I'm going to show off the first one of these. I'll either fast forward or skip through them later. I'm not sure how I want to handle that yet. This run took a long time because I did it in a super cowardly way. Right here, there's no reason for me to take this damage. There's no reason for me to push. There's no reason for me to fight the bots. Also, these plants on the side are made of iron or some shit and you cannot shoot through them. They don't move, they don't bend, they don't break. So be aware if you're gonna use the strategy, don't shoot the flowers. Let people get a little closer. Here I am grabbing my edge again. You can just sit back and take your time. They're only going to attack. They can attack you from way down there where I just killed that guy. But for the most part, they're just going to attack you from the left or the right at close range. Take your time and wait. More cops are not going to show up while you do this. You're going to fight a couple of cops who cannot enter the room. And as you pick them off, because they don't know where you are in this room for whatever reason, more are not going to show up. They are spawning. I know that for a fact, and I know some of the spots they spawn in. But they're not going to come to you. Even with the bot going out there, they, they have no idea where you are. As long as you stay in this room, now that I've cleared out the number that we have, I can just sit here. Not an issue. Uh, as soon as I leave like this, though, and get into the bank again proper, uh, wherever they are, of course, they automatically know where I am, and they're on their way. I decide to push here at the end because I think the assault wave is ending soon-ish. I need to get the entire drill down. That's quite a bit of work. I don't know where the cops are. I'm afraid at this point that they might have been spawning on the roof above me. Uh, but as we get out here and I check for snipers, I find, okay, we're all good. Wherever the cops had been, it wasn't the roof, which means it must be the lobby. So we'll set up the zip line, which is the asset I brought at the beginning of the heist. I find the zip line to be super, super important if you're gonna do this solo. Uh, without it, you have to defend bags and take the long route. I could have ferried all three bags down with the zip line. I should have, but I kept thinking the assault wave will probably end soon. I'll take these bags. I'll throw them on some bots. I'll take the zip line down and then they'll run through the map and come to me. Of course, as I'm escaping, I hear a nader called. So shit, cops are coming. I figure I'll push into the vault really quick and get this set up. 
while the cops are possibly on the roof. Well, yeah, they're above me, and so they're going to cascade down and completely block my path and murder my bots on the roof. Bots who are, if you've watched any of the other videos I've done for the solos, don't understand how snipers work and will die if a sniper is within four city blocks. Uh, I've overstayed my welcome. I've burnt off all my armor. I'm being an idiot. I needed to have run back and taken cover quite a long time ago. Uh, I'm very, very beat up. No plates, very little HP, and all my bots are dead. Well, that was kind of dumb. Thankfully, though, I do have my deployable that I still haven't used because I've been leaning off of the uh, bots to give me armor, health, and ammo. Armor and ammo at this point in time. Now I'm going to sit here and cover. The cops are regrouping. Uh, ideally, I would have been sitting here holding to clear them out so when the regroup comes up, I could actually make a move. But no, in this case, I'm just burning multiple plates to try and fight at the end of an assault wave while my bots all go away. Um, my timing, movement, and positioning could literally not have been worse. Knowing my bots are dead and nobody's going to show up to try and give me any more goodies, even though I'm only entitled to one more bag of whatever, I decide to take the armor because I figure I need it. Here's where I make my next mistake. I try and push the stairs, which is where everybody who's supposed to be falling back and leaving the map has gone to. I should have, when we went up earlier, opened another door so that I can easily get in without having to rush the main central stairway. Uh, I opt here to try and get the bolting done because I know it takes a little while. We've got some incoming time. I think I'm good. I'm obviously not. There were still cops behind me. I'm panic crouching, trying not to get shot. Decide I'm going to go for the roof. I want to try and get another one of those bags while I have some downtime. The assault wave is starting. I haven't even registered that it's an FBI assault yet. It is almost always an FBI assault by this point in the map on Overkill. So I figure I'll go for the roof. We'll take out the snipers real quick. I'll just grab a bag and get out of here. It won't be a problem. This was another mistake. Uh, they shred like all four plates off of me. I think they get like three here. Yeah. That was way more resources that I really should not have been throwing away. Again, I was just kind of playing. The cool thing for the manager's office as well is that you can see the FBI van no matter where you look out. It's left and right. No matter where it spawns, it'll be there. That cloaker taunting me, just wait till I get close. You can't. Uh. Chains? Dude, you can hear the sniper kill him. <laughs> Skipping ahead a little here, things start to get weird. Did I just see a seagull fly through the building? What the fuck was that? Unfortunately for me, my final gift from the bots turned out to be a medic bag and not more armor. Uh... So I do have some HP to work with again. That is a little beneficial to what we're doing, but armor goes a lot further. Anybody who's been playing the game right now knows that's just the state of payday. Armor is the most effective. Uh, I decide to very ill-advised uh, push the stairs again instead of going through one of those back doors. So I guess I haven't opened it yet. There are a lot of guys here. I decide to stand and fight. I burn off the two plates that I just picked up. I could have just thrown a grenade and walked through the door and either killed them all or let the bots deal with it. I don't know what I was thinking. I just kind of rolled up to the door and had a lot of regret. Uh, I still need to get the last piece of the drill off of the roof. Which now has full sniper support every time I'm going to come up here for the rest of the run. Uh, the assault is incoming. I don't want to get caught on the roof again and lit up. I could have run back down the stairs, but I decided the zip line might be a little bit faster for my needs. Um, I really should be taking cover, but I want to get this done. I still at this point was not thinking about resources at all or how much damage I'm taking or what matters. I was just playing around to see how all that room worked. And it's only starting to dawn on me that I might be able to make it. Uh, I drop a mine there so that if I see anybody later trying to uh, interact with and screw with the drill while I'm on the far side of the map, I can stun them. This will either buy me just a little bit more time for the drill to go down or fully break whoever's there and stop them from causing me any troubles. Uh, I highly suggest them in a whole bunch of maps for holding objectives like that so you don't have to sit and guard a thing. 
Uh, realizing I'm not going to get any more resources, I decide to trade the guard of the corner for just a little bit of health. There was no reason to do this. Uh, I just wanted the HP to feel a little bit better, but at this point, I'm starting to pick up on the fact that I might be in trouble. Uh, I may have played a little poorly. Finally, using the top stairwell door instead of the front, I find that, oh, all of the guys that keep raining down on top of me, as it turns out, they get stuck in the hallway and become damn near free kills. So I should be taking this path. Of course, at the door, there's more guys. Um, I should not have even bothered with them. I fired a couple of shots. I should have just chucked a grenade, stunned them for a little while, let the bots deal with it, and immediately get to working on the oxygen tank and the drill. Just if I didn't want to take any damage. Uh, and I might get lucky and not take any damage anyway. I'm going to drop another mine there. Again, just in case anybody decides to mess with my drill. Uh, I chose to push back out of the front door of the bank here. I thought this was a good idea. I figured, hey, if I kill all these guys, there's nobody to mess with the drill right away. And maybe the spawns will be more focused up on me. And I can let the entire drill go through. I have no idea if that worked out. Uh, I just thought it was the best play. So now being fully aware of the fact that I'm running out of resources and I actually might have the opportunity to complete this map and not have to be stuck on Golden Shark for several more hours. Uh, I'm going to start putting my all into this. It was a little eerie here because I've got to go down the main stairs again. I'm in need of another oxygen tank regardless of what happens. I know that you need two total. So I've got to push down here and grab one of these as soon as I can. Thankfully... With me having gone up and around already that one time, there appears to be way less resistance at the door here to the vault. Through most of the run, there's been shields and a whole bunch of other guys. Just a few dudes to take out this time. It was pretty simple. I've just enough time to swap the tank and start my final 50 second timer. My previous mine is still here. I uh, had gone completely AFK in that last downtime and forgot to press it when somebody was uh, messing with it. But I do get the drill reset. That should be all that we need to get in, assuming somebody doesn't hit it immediately. And we have mines for that. So for every regrouping wave now, I need to come up with a plan because I'm getting really, really low on resources. This time I know that I need to get into the vault, try and get the drill stripped down. And if I can, I'd like to get a bag of money so that I can set the flex. Uh, most of the enemy AI here appears to be turned off. I guess that's just where they go when they regroup. This happens on a lot of maps. So long as they've reached the regroup point, they'll just stand there if it's not outside of the map. Uh, try and clear as many as I can. I don't want to get lit up while affecting the drill. And because just of what's been going on with their AI in the manager's office, a lot of them end up standing around instead of leaving. So if I try and go for an objective, I'm still going to be pressured. And as I keep repeating, I don't have very many resources left. So I need to make it count. Get in here, clear as many as I can, get the drill stripped down, get the vault open. For safety's sake, I should probably run back and hide now, but I don't want to spend a year and a half on this map. Every time I have to do an objective, I'm risking resources I don't really have very much of anymore. Uh, so I want to push as much as I can. In this case, I decide we're going to get that fucking flare set. We run up to the roof with our bag of cash. I'm trying to do this before the assault really gets into full swing. Uh, I opt here not to take the stairs as I normally would because I know that the flare spawn point is right on top of this. Uh, as I get to the roof, I shoot the wrong sniper, allowing the one on the left to really zone in on me. I get super lucky, though, and hit him before I lose what's left of my armor. This lets me light the flare and get down in pretty good health and pretty good spirits. I'm doing all right at this point in time. At least I thought I was doing all right, but here I learned the painful lesson that cloakers can, in fact, enter this room. Uh, earlier, I'd been led to believe they couldn't. And I was wrong. Running real, real low on armor, but, you know, we've got enough to keep our heads above water at this point in time. Decide that I trust the roof as a safe space because we went up there to light the flare and I didn't see cops all over the place. That's telling me they're not hanging out up there at all. Uh... Having not learned from my previous attempts, I decide not to take the back way that we know is super safe and kills most of our problems, and I push through the main gate again. This seems okay, because there's not that many police here. The problem is, I didn't kill any of the guys that were upstairs normally. So they are there and ready to shoot me as we speak. Uh, I decide to get into this side room here. For those of you that don't know on Golden Shark, those two bag models ahead of us of cash 
The one on the right is worth 8%. The one on the left is worth 15%. This big bag right here, the full complete, they both just say money, but it's worth way, way more. So try and take those when you can. I know that you can complete this map with eight bags, but you also need to take loose cash from some of the lockers and the other room that has a big pile of loose cash. I haven't done that. And I don't think that I can safely go downstairs very much more, so we might just end up grabbing an extra bag. Uh, in this case, I only grabbed two bags. I threw one to Dallas and took one myself. Mine's in, and I see that Dallas is actually going to make it here. I grab the bag and send it up. Dallas immediately gets down, and so does Chance, and I don't care. And then a dozer shows up. Had I been preparing for this map, I would have grabbed an overkill weapon and sat it up here with me just for this inevitability. But I was just playing around. That said, if you step back and forth before a dozer can light you up, he has to re-acquire a target every time, and he's super easy to just take out without taking damage. All right, next moment of freedom from sitting in my office and waiting for everyone else to go home. Uh, we need more money. And we need money quick. Because every time I go out and take a little bit more damage, we're running out of plates. We've got two left? Maybe one? Cloaker shows up and gives himself to us. Thank God for that, because he would have been incredibly dangerous if I was in the vault and not paying attention. I can see a whole bunch of guys by the door, and I see an opportunity to destroy them quickly. So I go for it, so they're not going to light me and the bots up while I'm grabbing more money. I probably should have just gone into the vault, but this was a lot of kills, and I feel like it probably saved me a lot of grief. Run inside. We need to get the server. Pick that up first, throw out the chains. I can see there's two of the larger bags of money in the back here. So I'm going to try and go for these as we're trying to get as much high percentage as we can. Assault's already in the... Or incoming on the way now. They're basically here. I need to leave. I don't have the resources to sit and fight at the vault and run this like a normal map anymore. I have screwed around too much. So, they all have bags. I'll grab one of my own. I'm thinking at this point in time that it's best to run right up the front because I want my bots to be able to get there. Uh, so I go for it. Sitting and reloading here was a mistake. I should have just continued to run. Uh, we pause here with literally no HP. Our last man standing procs. All right, now I have 10 seconds time to do a little bit with. So I'll throw that. I'll try and make the best of what all my bots have given me here. I can hear the cloaker coming. Can't quite get Wolf's bag before he downs me. But I'm surrounded by the team. So long as they don't all get down miraculously, I should be good. And I am. So we get that squared away and back into our hidey hole. Chase has gone down. Doesn't take long for them to regroup this time because we were fighting quite a bit there before getting away. We do still have a nice chunk of bags already on the roof, including the server. I'll send one more up here. We need to get back in there, though, and grab a couple more. I have not been keeping count at all throughout this run of how many bags I've sent up. I'm just kind of got to feel that, hey, we sent four there, and I think I sent three or four before, and I should only need like eight, so one or two more bags, that'll be good. Uh, here I get attacked by a lot of guys. Thankfully, we kill both the shield and the cloaker with that explosion. I'm out of armor and i have no hp that said we reload ourselves into all the buffs we need including grit so that we can get that last stand going again as we've gone down and reset ourselves dallas out here dodging all my money bags Let me give one to wolf instead uh i'm thinking we're good i'm trying to get hit here before my buffs go away and i do that gets my last man standing again uh, I'm not sure if any of the bots are going to get out of there. It's very, very rough, so I just decide to throw a grenade, stun, and go. See, one of the bags has come back down, so I send it up. And get back into the office to hide. Uh, that is our last plate. Now we really have zero resources left on map. We have one HP, half armor, and nothing else. Thankfully, Wolf did manage to get his bag to us, so only Chains lost out on one. I'm thinking we're still good with this number of bags, and I don't really have any other choices at this point in time. We Dallas. need to finish this map. God we are it. going Chains to lose. Time is no longer on our side. Of course, I get jumped on my way out the office, but with what I believe is our last bag, I head for the roof. This time I line up the snipers a little better depending on who saw me first. And it's all off to the races. I'm going to have to get all these bags into this helicopter before the assault wave starts. 
if I get pressured at all by any kind of force on the roof while I'm moving these bags, I'm going to lose. I've got less than a bar worth of HP. I've got about a bar's worth of plate left. And I have no way of healing. I've got one down. And you know what? If I go down out here, especially with those snipers, the bots are not going to be able to res me. It wouldn't matter if I had one or 400. Move the bags, move the bags, move the bags. Got to get everything up. Got to go, got to go. Assault is incoming. I know that's going to switch to assault here soon. The bots are no good to me at this point. There's the police assault. I just got to move the bags. Feel like we're pretty much good. It's been a hell of a run, but for what was a tester run, you know what? We... Uh-oh. We are 10% off, boys and girls. My miscounting has put me into a world of hurt. A couple more bullets to chip away at my meager amount of armor. Oh, and as if things weren't bad enough, a cloaker. Thankfully, I still had disengage, but that's my armor and my health. We really have nothing now. Holding one final time. I'm now ready for the jumping. We need something, anything. But I know that all the large bags are gone. And small bags, they're only worth 8%. We need 10%, which means I need to find at least two more percent in loose cash. That is assuming that I'm right and all the big bags are gone. I pop in just one last time to check and we didn't open the right room. There's a single large bag here. This will net us the 14, 15% that we need automatically. I grab loose cash just in case because despite the fact that I've done this a thousand times, I'm not worried and second guessing myself because look at us. We're on the brink of failure. So we get the 2% we need. I opt just to straight run past these guys. I don't nade. I don't look at them. I don't know them. They don't know me. We're going home. You know what? Nobody knows me. I'm not even going to look at the snipers. I don't care. I've got my bag. We're almost here, and it's finally over. Whew. Solo, overkill, loud, golden shark. Nothing can stop us now. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, good. Nothing can stop us now. And that was it, boys and girls. I know it was kind of scuff. I know it was a 57-minute run. Uh, but I didn't think that that was going to be possible by just standing in an office. And as it turns out, it's pretty easy. We're AFK for most of it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.